Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your number one source for income-oriented investing, and it's time for episode 42 in my monthly series where I go over the income-oriented landscape in the stock market, both Canadian and US. So I'll review, of course, some of the more popular high-yield income-oriented funds on the Canadian and US stock market, see how they're doing, if there's any big news, any big updates, good or bad, and of course, try to determine which sectors or funds are undervalued uh, in particular presenting us with a good buying opportunity, right? So forget about MSNBC or BNN. If you're an income-focused investor, this is the place to be. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Adrian. The primary objective of my income-oriented investing strategy is to generate relatively safe, consistent, passive income forever. And one important aspect of my investing strategy and really all investing strategies, to be honest, is to keep investing consistently over time, dollar cost averaging, and try to capture what is undervalued in the market, of course, to increase your income stream over time. Remember, I'm not against the more popular mainstream growth or dividend growth strategies. I think those two strategies are amazing. They work well long term, especially if you're a more, more of a total return investor. Total return is all you care about. Whereas my strategy is really to maximize your cash flow or your passive income. So we got a lot to discuss this month. There's a lot of big changes and updates. So let's get to it right away. I'd like to take a quick moment to thank the sponsor of this video, Harvest ETFs, one of my personal favorite covered call, ETF covered call managers in Canada. Of course, they have HDIF. This is their all-in-one solution where it combines some of their best covered call ETFs all in one with a little bit of leverage to great, get that great consistent monthly income that Harvest is known for. I'd like to thank them for being a good friend of the channel. And a lot of big news uh, with Harvest, actually, first of all, they announced a new ETF called the Harvest Pre Premium Yield Treasury, e Treasury ETF, sorry, which is going to be an ETF that's going to hold what looks like to be a basket or a couple of uh, U.S. Treasury bonds. So this is government bonds ETFs, and they're going to be writing covered calls on them. So this is a great way to get some fixed income here. Uh, with covered call exposure. So this is going to be very exciting because it's going to be a great addition to your portfolio if ever you want some fixed income and you're disappointed by the yields that fixed income gives. Well, wait till you see what covered calls could do on uh, fixed income. You'll be very surprised, I'm sure. Also, they recently announced distribution increases for their technology covered call ETF. So the HTA ETF, which is a covered call ETF that has technology stocks, is the monthly distribution is going from 10 cents to 12 cents a month, guys. Very big increase. And of course, they will also increase their leveraged version, HTAE, from uh, 10.63 cents to 13, per 13 cents a month. So awesome, awesome news from Harvest ETF. I'd like to thank them once again for being a good friend of the channel. So now let's review the market in the last month real, real quick here. S&P 500 for the overall U.S. the last month, minus 1.19%. So a little bit of chop, but nothing too, too crazy. The TSX Composite Index, which is you know the overall Canadian market, not pretty flat, but the really big story is going to be the banks. The banks have been taking a beating here. You see the ZEB ETF, which is the BMO Equal Weights Banks ETF, which is just the big six banks down almost 5% here in the last month. And this is still live. It's still going. I'm actually filming this on September the 6th while the markets are still open. If you click on six months, you see almost minus 11%. So the banks, the Canadian banks are definitely on sale. So are the US banks, by the way. So let's go over together now, everyone, the overall Canadian landscape, and then we'll do the US one. If you're American, you only invest on the American stock market. Of course, you could skip through this using the YouTube chapters below. So we already covered Harvest HDIF here. We're going to start with my some of my favorite funds, the all-in-one funds. So we're going to start with HDIF. So uh, like I said, or like I showed at the beginning here earlier, the technology uh, covered call ETF from Harvest HTA is raising their distribution. So we could assume by default that this is going to be good news for HDIF because HDIF holds, of course, HTA. This is the ETF, 18% of it. So will HDIF raise their distribution right away if I were to guess, and I know how our Harvest operates and what I've seen in the past, they typically reset their distributions and review them annually. So I probably expect maybe a slight increase for HDIF maybe in January 2024, but I could be wrong. I'm just assuming here. So yeah, HDIF, very excited because HTA is in there and HTA increased the dividend. Of course, even the leverage version, HTAE, increased the distribution as well. Moving on to Hamilton now, you have HYLD, you have HDIF, 
You guys know I like these funds. I recently came out with a two-year anniversary video for HDIV. HDIV is killing it. It's killing the S&P 500, the overall Canadian market. It's definitely a great, great ETF. Not a full income ETF. This is what I talk about in the video. You can see here that it's beating the overall Canadian market. And it recently increased the distribution to 14 cents a month from 13 and a half cents, doing pretty, pretty well. HYLD still holding steady um, at 12 cents a month. However, I am excited about the potential of changes coming to HYLD. I'm just speculating here because Hamilton ETFs just announced or came out with a preliminary prospectus here, three new covered call ETFs coming, including two that I'm not really surprised about, right? They got their own covered call manager now. So it looks like they're coming out with their own technology uh, stock covered call ETF, QMAX, and their own US equity, which is probably kind of, you know, kind of like an S&P 500 or overall US market, SMAX. And they also have, just like very similar to Harvest is coming out with a uh, US bond, uh, ETF with covered calls and it's going to be H bond. So very, very excited about this, especially these two new ETFs, which of course, you know, as soon as they come out, I'll make a review video, but it looks like these Hamilton, uh, no surprise to me is coming out with their own ETFs, uh, their own versions, which of course I'm excited about HYLD because there's a lot of foreign, uh, ETFs in here. Maybe they're going to start replacing them with their own in-house products, which would probably mean, definitely mean lower fees and probably increased yields as well. So very excited about that. Really big news here uh, from Harvest and Hamilton this month. Moving on, BMAX from Brompton. This is Brompton's all-in-one covered call leverage solution. Uh, no news on this one. Consistent 10 cents a month dividend. Of course, you have BMOs that just joined the race here. If they're all-in-one, finally came out ZWQT. Make sure to check out that video, review video that I recently came out with. Holding steady here. Uh, the distributions, there's only a couple of months of distributions. Fairly brand new. And stay tuned. Very excited. Uh, BMO is, has agreed to do an, another Q&A with me. So we'll talk a little bit about ZWQT there. Of course, you have Horizons. They came out with two really great ETFs that I love. Overall, uh, you know, overall market ETFs. You have USCL, CNCL, so USCL, kind of like the S&P 500 with 25% leverage and cover calls. Very, very high yield. A great overall US option. CNCL, same thing for the Canadian market. A great overall Canadian um ETF, covered call ETF. Don't forget they have unleveraged versions, right? These are the leveraged versions, CNCL, USCL. They have, of course, USCC, CNCC, if you don't want that leverage. They also have a NASDAQ 101 QQCC. This one's not leveraged in case you want a little bit more tech focused. And moving on, we also have other, you know, uh, how could I say this? Overall or diversified covered call funds uh, from Evolve ETFs. They have ESPX, which is literally S&P 500 with covered calls, ETSX, the TSX 60, or the overall Canadian market with covered calls. Very excited that I have a QA and a coming up with the CEO of Evolve to do a deep dive into these two ETFs. So these are pretty much all the ones I've looked at are some of my favorite and some of the most popular diversified overall market options. Now let's continue on here going down the line with the ETFs. You have, of course, crypto. So, uh, you know, BTCY and ETHY are the only ones I kind of look at, Bitcoin and Ether, it's simply because they have their calls, they're income oriented. So it is, I would say, in my opinion, a good time. If you're interested, if you understand and believe crypto to pick some of these up, they have tremendous yields now of 14, the 14% 14 range. Of course, keep in mind the distributions can vary, but I think everyone's just biting their nails and on in a holding pattern to see if Black Rocks spot Bitcoin ETF gets approved on the US market. We'll have to see. Some other news uh, on the yield share ETFs. Don't forget Purpose has yield share ETFs where it's single stocks with 25% leverage and covered calls. And they did a nice distribution increase on the Tesla one, on the Amazon one, and on the Google one uh, from you know about 31 cents or just under 31 cents to 35 cents. So really, really nice increase. So I'm sure you guys are happy if you are an owner of YTSL. This is a their most popular one by far. You see here it has 52 million on assets under management, very low management fee, a great way to get income off of Tesla because Tesla is such a volatile stock that call premiums are very good. So I definitely have this one. I bought it long ago at $14. So I'm very, very happy. I think my yield's at 29% or something like that. You'll see in the next portfolio unveil. That's it for ETFs. Moving on to the very uh, misunderstood and high stress closed end funds. We're going to start with the one that's not, you know, there's no stress at all behind the Canoe EIT income fund. This is a closed end fund on the Canadian market, just chugging along. It's trading at a discount. It usually always is. You see that here, it's 
worth 1316 trading at 1294 this has stayed great very very defensive uh lots of financials in here and it's doing really really well lots of financials energy industrials healthcare no technology so very a lot more more uh, value oriented stocks here moving on to the split share funds can't wait to talk about these because they have been under stress lately and it's normal this is what how split share funds behave everyone so let's start with the brompton ones very excited dgs amazing pickup right now dgs is trading at a discount i can't believe I'm, th these words are coming out of my mouth discount so it's worth this of, of course is as of august 31st so it's fairly well updated dgs is worth 481 you could pick it up for less than that so you're you're getting it at a discount which is incredible gdv is also looking like a phenomenal pickup it's just going down every day every day been getting questions and emails about what's going on with gdv listen guys nothing is going on with gdv it's this is all that matters guys the nav is all that matters when it comes to the split share funds okay so gdv stock price in my opinion should actually be 790 because it's worth 790 right so it's a lot it's higher than that it's about in the eight dollar range so then it's still trading at a premium which means you're paying more than what it's actually worth but gdv typically does trade at a big premium but not anymore so a great time to pick up gdv look at that crazy yield it's probably almost probably past 14 percent now that i'm filming this but gdv is a great pickup the rest of the split share funds nothing really stands out to me here in brompton's dfn which has been causing a lot of ruckus lately because of the stock price right it's at 476 so i am filming this again on this on september 6th let me just refresh it here 476 and this is why i've been waiting and this is why the picks of the month was a bit delayed this month for quadrivest to update their unit nav so you see here that it's 1464 uh, which means we have to minus 10 to get the preferred shares out um so dfn is worth everyone the net asset value is 464 the stock price is 476 so it's almost on par but it's still trading at a small premium so this is why i feel if you're in the market for either dfn or dgs i think dgs is definitely the better pickup don't forget guys what's in dfn it's mostly the canadian financials which i've been taking a beating so of course it's completely normal that dfn goes down hard because it's leveraged also it's under 15 dollars unit nav people panic sell it because they're not getting the dividend so this is really puts a lot of pressure on the stock price presenting a amazing i mean look at the six month look at the one-year chart an amazing opportunity to pick up dfn or dgs if you're in the market for for a split share fund same type of deal with ftn right all financials it's worth 650 the numbers just came out as of august 31st worth 650 trading at 726 let me just refresh it here so uh still trading at a premium but a really really good time to pick up ftn as well if you really want to capitalize on the um uh, you know the the volatility of the financials i think the yield is pretty much like 20 percent now the let's see i think it's 1.5086 or something like that divided by 726 oh almost 21 percent yield right now on ftn pretty crazy i have a strong suspicion maybe i'll pick up some more uh this is just too you know it's the opportunity is just too great so that's it for the brompton quadrivest now let's look at middle field of course which has ens and rs uh you know these are no danger whatsoever of missing in my opinion the unit navs are well over 20 dollars right because you got to do class a plus the preferred but rs under pressure real estate is under pressure even though it's trading at a premium i think it's still a good pickup i personally picked up a lot of rs recently and enbridge just announced a big big acquisition which typically puts a little bit of pressure on the stock price they bought out like three companies in the us so the monster is just becoming more of a monster um so yeah pretty good time to buy enbridge also but it is trading unfortunately at a premium so use your discretion when it comes to that so that's it for the overall landscape what's on sale it's pretty obvious it's a no-brainer on the canadian market it's the banks guys it's the canadian financials so to capitalize you have some great funds here i just put my personal top three i own all of these three the yields are incredible they're pretty much over 15 percent bkcl is at 16 percent. so bkcl is the canadian six banks with 25 percent leverage and covered calls look at that amazing yield you also have bank from evolve which is equal weighted it's 10 companies so it's uh the canadian six banks and four other companies life insurance companies very high yield of just under 16 and of course you have hmax as well which is about 75 percent 
the six banks, but it also has other stuff in there like Brookfield and, and life insurance company. So all three are great options to capitalize on the current weakness of the Canadian banks, which is always comical to me. Remember, we are long-term investors. The headwinds that they're currently experiencing is all short-term crap. So who cares? The Canadian banks are some of the best banks to invest in in the world. I think it's a great opportunity to pick some up. Remember, you are investing in these three ETFs. You are investing more niche. It's not that really diversified, so it does have higher risk. But of course, higher risk comes with higher rewards. Do not ignore the U.S. banks as well. They are still on sale. And one of my favorite ETFs to pick up is Call from Evolve. Very, very high yield. We're talking over 14%. But there's ZWK from BMO and there's Hubble from Harvest as well. So that sums up, in a nutshell, the Canadian landscape. I'm out of breath. Let me take a break. And now let's do the American stock market. All right, time for the overall U.S. market income landscape. Of course, we have to start with QYLD, RYLD, XYLD first, the OG here, QYLD. So um, the latest distribution has been pretty good, actually. Uh, I mean, they've been very, very steady here. I love what, that they added this to their website here. If you click on distribution history, you click on this, you can actually see the premium and how much they're paying out. So as long as the premium is over 2% a month, you'll get the maximum 1%. So you could estimate, you know, you'll probably always get about 1% a month of the NAV. So 17 46 right now. So, you know, the dividend is going to be about 17 cents. And that's what it was in the last month here. Uh, RYLD, same type of deal here. You see here that the, it was at least over 2%, which means you get a 1% distribution payout. You'll get the approximate uh, you know, NAV price dividend here in cents. So 1761% is about 17 cents or something, right? And that is what the distribution was. Yeah, 17.4. XYLD, a lot better distribution than last month. That's for sure. 28 cents. You see it's 38 cents. And that is because you could see here the, the, the premium was much bigger, right? Just under 2%, not quite yet. So you didn't, they didn't give out 1%. They give out 95.95% but a fairly good dividend. And uh, Jeppy and JEPQ, the di distributions have also increased from last month. So you see your 29 cents to 33 cents for Jeppy. Keep in mind, guys, these distributions are going to vary based on volatility. I see some quite a few nonsense videos out there on YouTube, which I can't even click on. Uh, when it comes to Jeppy and JEPQ of, you know, distributions getting cut, they're not getting cut. They're just they're just changing based on volatility. If the S&P 500 is less volatile, you're going to have less of a distribution. When it's more volatile, you're going to have a higher distribution like it was at the at the end of 2022, right? So a little bit more than last month. JetQ, much more. You see here, 36 cents, 36 cents. Bang, we have 45 cents. The Nasdaq was a lot more volatile, I guess, in the last month. You have Spy Eye, which is a good, I would say, competitor to XYLD and JetP. Pure S&P 500 with covered calls, very unique strategy. I do have a vi two videos on Spy Eye. One where I interview the QA. Uh, wow, well, I do a Q and A with the covered call manager and the founder of Neos. Make sure to check it out. Very, very cool, consistent, approximately one percent a month. Very, very good uh, performance here. The performance speaks for themselves, and you can see here that the monthly distributions again will vary, but it's about one percent a month. Really, really good options here. All of these are great overall US market covered call options. I will never say which one is better than the other. It's up to you. The cover call strategies are all different. And the, I guess the more pessimistic you are, the more you're going to go with the global X ones. And if you want a little bit, you know, less aggressive covered calls, you probably go with the JP Morgan ones or now Spy Eye. And I hope, I really hope Neos comes out with their NASDAQ, a NASDAQ version, right? It's only logical. I think they will do that. Hopefully it'll be maybe 13% yield or 13.5% yield. Very excited if they do come out with that. If they're watching, please come out with it quickly. All right, SVOL, my favorite alternative income ETF on the US market. It's an absolute beast. It's growing very, very quickly. The yield is over 15%. They did, you know, the, the performance speaks for itself, by the way, it's quite amazing. They did recently reduce slightly their distribution for 32 cents to 30 cents. Can't say why, but hey, it's not going to be perfect. This is VIX income, and if VIX income, the premiums are less, they're going to have to distribute less. But hey, over 15% yield or approximately 15% yield, I will never, never complain, especially with a very pretty stable stock price. If you're in the market for some Bitcoin, one of my favorite ways that I've found or innovative ways to get Bitcoin um exposure with income like it says here plus income is the maxi etf offer also from simplify so they hold bitcoin future so it's like investing in the price of bitcoin but they do bull call spreads which gives you a nice monthly dividend that's been 15 cents a month 
fairly consistently here. I think it's a really good idea because you're not they're not writing cover calls on Bitcoin. You're, you're, you're fully capturing Bitcoin's upside, I believe. Well, maybe not fully because it's futures and not a spot Bitcoin ETF. I, I don't want to be uh, inaccurate here, but very nice yield of over 10%. This is personally um, how, you know, one that I own in my Lira account. Moving on to the iShares ones. Uh, which is um, aggressive covered calls on TLT, LQD, and HYG. So long-term government bonds, boring. Investment-grade corporate bonds, not as boring. HYG, just high-yield corporate bonds, sometimes referred to as junk bonds. This is the one I like, and this is actually the one that's doing the best out of the three. So they've all declared much better or higher dividends than last month, I guess, because, again, volatility is up and you know, covered call income really depends on the volatility. So all of them have slightly increased their distribution from last month. Of course, remember, there, there's no cuts or increases here. It's just variance. Um, but yeah, uh, I mean, this is the one I own personally, HYGW, and it's the one that's doing the best out of the three. So these, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming that, you know, the two ETFs, Hamilton and Harvest, that have are coming out, I think they're going to be writing, doing pretty identical strategies or similar strategies, the TLTW. I wouldn't be surprised if they actually, if it holds TLT and they're writing covered calls on TLT. Just just my, uh, my, my idea or what I'm estimating here or predicting. Of course, we have the absolute hottest ETFs, hottest income ETFs on the American stock market. It's the yield max ETFs here. They have a bunch of new ones that keep coming out. Make sure to go to yieldmaxetfs.com to see all the latest ones. I'm filming this on September the 6th. And tomorrow is the dividend or distribution distrib uh, rates that are going to come out for all of them. And if you're thinking of or own any yield max ETFs, everyone, you absolutely have to see my latest yield max ETF video where I have a 34 minute discussion with a guy who actually manages the options, Jay, and I really ask him some of the tough questions about the risks of these ETFs. So stay tuned for more content on these yield max ETFs. I think they're absolutely incredible. You also have Clip from Crane Shares, which is does 100% coverage at the money cover calls on KWeb, uh, Chinese internet and technology companies. So uh, the latest distribution has been really, have been really pretty steady near 83 cents. They've been the same for the last uh, or very identical for the last three months. So just, just chugging along on this one. Again, very, very, very high yield here. So that's it for the ETFs. Let's move on to the closed end funds. Of course, we can't, we've got to talk about CLM here. So CLM is right now trading at a 20% premium. Not bad, not great. Uh, good time to pick it up. Well, I think it's better to pick it up when it's like under 15% premium, under 10%. Remember, I have a CLM video that just came out where I talk about the benefits in CLM and why I personally sold it. Don't forget, everyone, the best part about CLM is you could drip it at NAV, but only if your broker is registered with the plan. So again, check out that video where I talk about that in detail, what CLM is, et cetera, et cetera. Now, going on to the overall closed end fund market, there's really three, you know, two ETFs and one closed end fund. There's YYY, which is basically investing in 45 closed end funds. Um, you know, a closed end fund market is really getting killed in the U.S., because it mostly contains fixed income and fixed income is getting killed. So yeah, a lot of PIMCO ones here, which is a fixed income master, but uh, the distribution hasn't really changed. Still 12 cents a month here. You also have the Saba closed end fund ETF. This is actually the best performing overall all in one closed end fund option, a little bit less yield than YYY. Stock symbol is CEFS. Click on view fund summary if you want more details. Then of course there's RIV. This is the one I like and that I, I'm invested in. Right now it's trading at a almost a 6% discount. So I have this one in drip. I'm just dripping away buying shares at 1134 when the actual value is 1203. So I really think the closed end fund market is getting killed in the US. It's a good time to pick some up. There's a million of them. You know, you could pick and choose which closed end fund you like, but I always like the overall option. So you have YYY, you have CEFS, you have RIV. You also have CEFD, by the way, and ETRAX, a highly leveraged ETRAX ETN from uh, UBS as well. But the big news this month is RA. So RA has greatly reduced their distribution by about 40%. This is the Brookfield Real Assets Income Fund. I made a video about this. Make sure to check out that video. But look at the NAV versus market price. Just because they cut the distribution, that doesn't impact the NAV. So now this fund, I've never in my life seen it trade at a discount. And now it is trading at a discount, which means you could pick it up 
for less than what it's worth. You could pick it up for 12 something when it's actually worth 14.67. So let's just take these prices. This, this is as of the 5th of September. So to figure out the, the discount, you always do the stock price divided by the NAV minus one times 100. You have almost a 13% discount. So you're buying it at 12.77, it's worth 14.67. I don't, you know, it's been going down almost every day since the announcement, or I think it has been going down every day since the announcement. It's just a matter of time until people realize, well, maybe I should buy some because that's a smarter thing to do instead of dumping it, right? My opinion here, a great time if you don't have RA and you understand how leverage closed end funds work and you're interested in the real assets class. So there's a lot of fixed income in here. I strongly suggest you take a look at RA. I'm definitely not selling my position. I have RA and RIV on drip and I'm excited because now when the drip goes through, I'm going to be picking up shares cheaper than what they're actually worth. Increase dollar cost averaging and just making a good investment for the long term. We are long term investors. So that's it for the US market. It's hard. There's not many covered sector specific covered call ETFs. Uh, so financials are still down in the U.S. There is FYLG. It's basically the only one. Uh, however, it's on 50%. So it's financial. You know, that's why it says cover calls and growth. They do only cover calls on 50% of the portfolio, unlike QILD where it's 100. So you do get upside potential, but this pretty much covers all the financials on the U.S. market. So if you want to capitalize on the weakness of the financials, FYLG, I guess, is the only income-oriented fund that I personally uh, found on the U.S. market. So that's it. We're going to do this again next month in episode 43. Lots to talk about, lots of stuff that went on. Just remember, we're in it for the long term, everyone. Keep compounding that, those dividends. Keep reinvesting, averaging down, and we'll always win in the end. See you next time. Hey, don't go yet. A few reminders before you leave. Did you know that I launched a YouTube loyalty membership program where for only $3 a month, you could become a PII Inner Circle member where you will gain access to exclusive content, exclusive videos and live streams, as well as other perks and benefits, including a really cool weekly opportunity report. That's right. If you're interested, just click on the little join button next to the subscribe button to see what it's all about. Also, make sure to follow me on Blossom and download Blossom. It's a social investing app, which is really cool. You could share your portfolio, follow other people's portfolios, including my own. My username is Adrian underscore PII. So download it with the referral link below. Not only is it free, but you could actually earn cash by taking these really small, quick one minute courses. Really awesome. It's a no brainer. Also, make sure to visit our website, PassiveIncomeInvesting.ca. That's where you could book a one-on-one -on -one private coaching session with yours truly, with myself, where you could ask me all the questions you want. All the information and booking information is on the website. Make sure to check out that video on the homepage there to see how to book a one-on-one -on -one properly. Also on my website, you could purchase my digital product, which I'm very proud of, the Ultimate DIY Investing Package. This is a reference tool or a companion tool that will help you build your own portfolio. So it has lists of funds, it has sample portfolios, and it covers both the Canadian and US stock markets. And the good news is you'll only ever have to buy it once because it comes with free lifetime updates. And my plan is really to update the version every single year. So make sure to pick it up. Also, I have Questrade and Passive referral links below. So Questrade is the broker that I personally use and Passive is the broker companion tool or companion or assistant that I use. Really cool program, really cool software. So I have referral links for both of those. Questrade, $50 of free trades. And Passive, I have half off for the Elite Membership. If you're interested in the Elite Membership, and even if you want to start out with the free membership and upgrade to the elite afterwards, use my referral code so you could still get that 50% off. And don't forget that the elite membership of Passive is 100% free if you use Questrade. For social media, we have a very successful and big Facebook group, private Facebook group with over 14,000 members where we all try to help each other out. So make sure to join that group. Information is, in, is below. We also have Instagram where you could follow us or more personal stuff uh, when it comes to our life here in Panama and there's LinkedIn as well. So as usual, everyone, how do I leave you? Continue to stay safe, stay healthy, and of course, stay passive. See you next time.